So, you know, garbage man's a little harsh. Garbage man's a bit harsh. What I really mean to say is we're clean up guys, all right? We're clean up guys, clean up guys and girls, clean up guys and girls and any, anyone in between. We're clean up people. Um, you know, garbage man, you know, again, nothing wrong with a garbage man, you know, but what we do is we clean up. And I think IR was always gonna be this um, to some degree, you know? And that's part of the fun of IR. IR is not defined by the organ system, you know, for better or worse. There's a good part of that and there's a bad part of that. Um, I'll tell you, you know, the good part is my day is very uh, different. Every day can be totally different. Um, some days I'm doing a lot of vascular procedures. I'm doing a lot of potentially venous lysis cases. I'm doing a lot of arteriograms, doing embolizations. Maybe I'm doing a, a lower extremity revascularization. All right. And then some days I'm doing none of that. I'm doing biliary work. I'm doing nephrostomies. And certainly in a lot of days I'm doing a lot of drains, biopsies, venous lines. You know, so there's a lot of variety in my day. But, um, you know, the downside of that, of being an IR, is that you're also kind of a cleanup guy. You're a, you're a cleanup hitter, you know. You basically, you're there to clean up stuff that other people don't want to do for whatever reason. Could be that it's the end of the day, they don't want to do it. Could be that... Um, you know, they somehow miss it. Um, you know, case in point, you know, where I'm at currently, we don't do a lot of HD work. Something I really enjoy doing, you know, perm cats and fistulas. Um, but if, if there's a pinch and the vascular team, vas vascular surgery, I mean, is not able to do a, you know, perm cath, um, because they do it a certain way, they do it in their, you know, what they call the OR, and they do it with, uh, often with the anesthesiologist, uh, we're the cleanup guys, you know, they can toss us a perm cath and we can process it. <clears throat> we can make that perm cath happen same day. We do it with sedation. Sometimes we do it with no sedation at all. We know we can uh, do these procedures, numb the patient up completely. We can make that thing go in and about 10 minutes be done. So um, if there's an add-on perm cath and they're not able to handle it, well, IR will definitely handle it because, again, like I said, we're the cleanup guys. We just get it done. Um, if there's a patient needing a kyphoplasty, and you know, they're super sick, they can't go un undergo anesthesia, we'll do it, <laughs> we'll do it. I mean, I've had partners do kyphoplasty with no, no sedation, no nothing, just a local lidocaine. I mean, we'll find a way to get it done. And that's, that's kind of where IR lives. That's where IR lives, for better or worse. We're never gonna be the neuro specialist, we're never gonna be the vascular specialist. You know, maybe we're never gonna be the biliary specialist, you know, because there's GI physicians that do a lot of biliary work. We are that catch-all, we're that in-between, we're that space that is somewhat undefined. And you know, there's some downsides to that, because there's some days that your day is not defined. There might be some days that, you know, you're, the perm cats you like doing are going to someone else, and you're wondering why that is, you know? And, uh, but that's all good, and uh, like I said, it's something to understand, you know? I don't think me saying I'm a garbage man is meaning that the work I do is garbage. It's not even, not even close. I love what I do, I love what I do, and that includes, doing diagnostic cases when the IR cases aren't around because that happens too. Uh, that means that, yeah, you clean up the, the list too. You clean up x-rays and ultrasounds or whatever's on the list when there's nothing else going on because you clean up that too. I'm saying that <clears throat> IR is a cleanup specialty. Stuff that can't get done by other people, we handle it. And that makes, that makes my day exciting, rewarding, it's challenging. I'm always switching from one thing to another um, I'm switching gears constantly. And if you can do that, if you can handle that, then this might work for you. But if you want to be defined by what you do, like say if you say you want to handle only vascular work and, be, and you want to define yourself as someone that understands PAD and can treat PAD um, medically, surgically, and interventionally, and you want to call yourself a PAD specialist and that's what you want to do and you want the hospital to promote you on the front of the hospital as a vascular specialist, then I hate to say it, but I don't know if IR is gonna work for you. You know, if you wanna be the stroke guy and you want, <clears throat> you want the hospital to put you on the front of the hospital, you know, with your picture saying, well, I treat stroke. You know, it may not happen in IR. But if you want to, you know, do vascular cases when they come up when no one else can do them, and if you wanna get a contract for handling strokes because there's a hospital that's having difficulty getting stroke coverage and they need an IR, then yeah, then you can make IR work. Um, again, it's, it's something I enjoy. 
It's that undefined space that I live in and that I work with. And it's the speed, it's the speed and ease of the procedures. The fact that we can get patients on the table, uh, have our talented nurses sedate them quickly, do the procedure in anywhere from 15 to 45 minutes, get them off the table, get them recovered, get them back in their hospital bed and wonder what the heck happened, why they feel better. That's what IR is, you know, to me. So, uh, yeah, nothing wrong with being a garbage man. There really isn't, you know. Shit, we all take out the trash from time to time. It's real going to be.